morning, good morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine. The sun is just above the hill, another day for us to fill with all the things we love to do. Oh, can't you hear? It's calling you. Good afternoon. It is 12:22. Alexa, set a 30-minute timer. 30 minutes. Um I don't know what it is. Uh, Alexa, stop. I don't know what it is about most men. But I find that most men are sloths. They just, they just are. Like they don't know how to clean up after themselves. Put their clothes away, you know, put their shoes not in the middle of the room or middle of the floor. Organize. You know, what's the deal with that? Why do most men just be like slobs? Get it together. I know lots of men that aren't. How come they can do it, but you can't? I don't understand. I had to take a shower last night because I didn't get to take a shower before I went out to run errands because rust was in the bathtub i wish we had two bathrooms two showers two bathrooms that way when he's doing his thing i can still get around and do my thing i don't have any plans this weekend except for sunday next week sunday i am well this coming sunday i guess I am doing a paint with me again, and we're going to do um, the most recent one I did. It's like a, it's either the middle of the day, or it's a sunrise, or it's, it might be a sunset. But the sun is very high in the sky, so it could be like just a really hot day, or whatever. Anywho, um... We're doing that, and I don't know how many people are going to show up, but uh, I put my little invite out there, and we'll see how many people actually show up. Hopefully, I will have enough supplies for everybody, so I know how many people will show up. Anywho, um, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about right now. Probably nothing. <sighs> Men are slubs. Not all, obviously. If this triggers you, maybe you should, like, look at your surroundings and evaluate your life. So, that makes me think of something. So, a lot of times we'll say... Men suck, or we'll say women are bitches, or we'll say uh, all cops are bad, or cops are bad, or whatever. We'll say black lives matter. This doesn't mean, well, no, black lives matter is unrelated, regardless of that, uh, the other stuff. Um, when If it triggers you... Perhaps it is something that you need to look at yourself. If it doesn't trigger you and make you upset, then it's not about you. Alright? If you don't think you're a slob, or if you don't think you're a bitchy female, if you don't think that you're, I don't know, clingy or whatever stereotypes are for other things, if you don't think you fall into that category, then we ain't talking about you, 
when we're talking about it, we say white people are so racist. Obviously, if you're like, I'm not racist, and if it triggers you, and you're like, I'm not racist, and you get defensive, um, you might want to look at yourself internally there and figure out why that angers you. So I had a similar situation happen to me. And I have had to look into myself internally to find out why did I reply that way. And what it was is that um, I was speaking with a drag queen a couple weekends ago. They were talking about um, how petty people can be or, you know, the drag community and I'm not even in the drag community but she said they said something and I cannot remember what they said but I'm like well I don't think that way etc etc and they're like yeah I know not you I know you don't and then they went on with the conversation I'm like why did I feel it necessary to say well I don't think such and such and thing I had to really think about that because I'm like, I really don't think that. But why did I decide that they were talking specifically about me when they weren't talking about me? They were talking about whoever does think that. If you make a generalization, um, like men are slobs, and you don't think you're a slob and you get defensive about it. Why though? Why did I get defensive is the question. So I really had to think about that. And I'm like, when people say things that don't apply to me, I should not react. I shouldn't react to that. It will be, uh, it's not about me. It's about whoever it does apply to. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Okay, this is hard to my hands. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. You scratch an itch. How come you don't itch an itch? You can't itch something, but you can scratch it. It's wet out today, so I didn't, uh, I'm not going for a walk. There we go, that's better. <sighs> My hair was feeling very crusty. Uh, this. This is what I'm talking about. Guys, fold your dang towel. It's not that hard. I do a trifold. You don't have to do a trifold. But it, I just find that my towel fits better on the rack if I fold it. And it dries better too. Fold your dang towel. How come you don't fold your towels? I know quite a few men who don't fold their dang towels after using it. Just fold your dang towel. It's not that hard. Why do you use it? This goes here. Ugh. All right. God. Just fold your towels. Let's go eat some lunch. Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm making a tater tot casserole. We've made tater tot casserole before. Tater tots, meat, onion, um, bell, bell pepper. I'm doing it a little bit different today. Uh, I got the tater tots on the bottom, but my, t oh dang it, why did I do it? My tater tots are all pieced up. See, they're like in pieces. Sort of like a hash brown or a really tiny breakfast potato. Kitty, I can't help you right now, all right? And then on top, I have the ground turkey with the onion and the bell pepper. Um, but in between, I have a layer of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar. Here, see? Sharp cheddar cheese. Now, I have some tomato that needs to go on it. Why does it need to go on it? Because otherwise, we're not going to use the tomato. So, I have the tomato. Here, I bought this big ass tomato yesterday, and it cost me like almost four dollars. Extremely dense, very meaty tomato chunks. We're just gonna, you know, sprinkle that over 
chunky chunk chunky chunks I don't really care for tomato it's not my favorite thing uh, but in things it's okay and I seem to you know tolerate it so look chunky chunks of chunky chunk tomato chunkies chunks it's chunky so yeah we just put that over top and now I'm going to put on a layer of aged white cheddar cheese there we go just six slices miss purdy is trying to get cheese from me she's begging for cheese i'll get a slice of cheese for you okay out of the fridge right anyway shush so there 350 pop it in the oven here we are there's the food. I've seasoned it, the top of it, with some this stuff here. Tony's, Tony Cheshire's, Cheshire's, some person's uh, Creole seasoning. That's the um, that's the outcome there. Um, let's dish it out and see what it really looks like. There. That's what it looks like on the plate. I told you it was all broken up pieces, seasoned with, um, uh, I did some Lowry's on this, and then I did some garlic salt, Lowry's brand garlic salt on the meat, the veggie mix. Now let's eat it. Cheesy goodness, yes. I'll even put a tomato in there, and I don't really care for tomato. Just to show you that even I, a grown child, can eat vegetables. Mm. It is tasty good. Mmm, yeah. Let's dish out my husband and we're going to watch Stranger Things. Okay. Um, I finished, finished the, I finished Stranger Things yesterday, actually, last night. Um, so, I'm not sure how Chris Z is getting that it's like, um, it, like at all. I don't see it, but okay, whatever. Anyway, and then I just watched a movie called Sweetheart. And it's about this girl who went on a trip with a lot of people, and the boat crashed, and then um, she ended up on an island where there's a monster or whatever, and then a couple other people show up, and they're like, we don't believe you. We don't want to go back on the raft. Even though they have a raft to get away from the island, um, she's like, "We gotta get off the rat out of the island." And they're like, "No," and she's like, "Fine." So they knock her out, and she uh, is at nighttime, and the monster shows up. Surprise! And they both die. Um, one of them dies, like gets pulled down under the water, into the water. Then they, the other two, get in the raft. And they're in the raft, but the monster actually ends up showing up in the daytime, um, but normally usually doesn't. Um, but this time it did, and so it killed the other dude. Um, but she, so she's alone again, and back on the island, she decides to take matters into her whole, own hands. Basically, sets half the island on fire, uh, trapping the monster thing, and she made a bunch of spears and stuff out of wood. Um, and then what spears not and stuff just spears out of wood like really sharp to make sure that she can stab it a bunch which she did and then i guess she cut off the head or something i'm not really sure um i don't know if she got off the island it doesn't uh tell us the movie doesn't say so if you were gonna watch sweetheart i just spoiled it all for you so you're welcome um, yeah, uh, that's it. It's like 9.30 about, and I'm gonna go to bed.
Uh, but I'm ha I have a problem. Miss Kitty is laying on me. And rule number one of Kitty Law is you don't you don't disturb Kitty unless it's urgent. It's not really urgent, but I do need to go to bed. So maybe maybe I have to make an exception. <sighs> oh, or if I sneeze, she'll move. But I don't have to sneeze, so who knows what will happen. But I'm gonna say good night. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Have yourself a good night. Toodles.